going on guys? I hope you are having a fantastic day. Today, we are going on a rally. My friend Logan, who runs 70 Mile Saturday Rallies, is hosting a poker run today, and I really dig the concept. This is gonna be my first poker run, and I'm super excited. Essentially, the concept is you're in a big convoy, you stop at five different destinations along the rally, and at each destination, you get a playing card. At the end of the rally, the team with the best hand wins. So today we are taking the beautiful 600 LT down to play with some friends in Orange County. Just waiting for my buddy Josh to pull up. 30 minutes away from the start of the rally. You ready to win some poker, dude? Oh yeah. Left rear tire pressure low. Definitely gonna need to fix that. Quick little fuel stop, you do not want to be stuck without gas in the start of the rally. Just pulled up to the starting line, the lineup is absolutely insane. I was about to turn my camera around and point it at Adam, but he's just running away. <laughs> what up, dude? Yeah, Good to see yeah. you. I'm freaking pumped. You yeah, rocking the M4 okay. today? Yeah, I'm hoping to get a, uh, a full set of kings, so we'll see. It's All right. My luck. All right. Let's. I don't know if that's possible, five kings, but... <laughs> Is it not? I don't think so. I don't play poker, I don't know. <laughs> Me neither, but we're doing it. Look at all these cars. Look at this lineup of Lambos. It's absolutely ridiculous. My buddy just picked up a new GT2 RS. This thing looks absolutely savage. Got the 600 LT, Ford GT, and then a 600 LT Spider over here. Sounds so good with the top down. One of my absolute favorite builds ever. Pterodactyl Tactics crushed it with this Huracan Super Trofeo build and it's twin turboed. I've yet to see this car in person. I've seen it all over the internet, but apparently this Carrera GT is fully straight pipe. And then behind it, we got DDE's new wrap based on the P1 GTR. Props guys, this actually looks dope. And that is a gorgeous color DB11. Just got the directions and a series of challenges to go through. He doesn't have his glasses though, I don't know what's up. Look who it is, we got Stradman in the house. Good to see you, man. Dude, your car is Thank you so much. Congrats on the new Gladiator. Thank you. Are we gonna see someone in some wild builds? Yeah, we might see a third axle. We don't know, we don't know. Dude, your Aventador actually looks amazing. Thank you, I love It's seriously sick. I, I've wanted an Aventador for a long time. And it's like, it's the ultimate YouTuber car. Never doubt we'll send Parker. <laughs> I'm joking, you have a video, well, video. No, buying, I bought an Aventador. Buying an Aventador at age 24, <laughs> not yes, clickbait. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> All right, dude, good luck on the rally. It sounds too good, dude. Mess with that? <laughs> all right, good luck hey, out there, dude. By the way, all these cars, beautiful. You know what we have? We have envy for you. Hood scoop. Hood scoop. <laughs> Look at this lineup. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, it is time to head out. Things out nuts. Let me hear the poor 
Marsha! ridiculous convoy of cars right now. I gotta give mad props. This guy Cyber Garage daily drives his straight piped Carrera GT. What a savage. So we've got a series of challenges that we've got to do there. A bunch of pictures in different locations. We got the maps, got a second vlog camera. Got Adam Bornstein in the M4. Probably the best sounding car on the whole rally, this Mercy with the avant-garde exotics exhaust. Beautiful Performante in front of me. That would actually be a sick race, a Performante against a 600 LT in a straight line. Headed to the first card checkpoint. So our first challenge was to take a picture of our car at the start line, we've done that. Then we had to take a picture of a car in the rally next to us rolling. Got that complete. The next one is a picture by this lake we are headed to right now. We may have just uh, unfortunately blown right past the first stop we were supposed to get our card and so did everyone else in our group. So <laughs> I hope that's not the end of the rally. 200 years of freedom. It reminds me of Cletus McFarland at Street Speed. been on before. Absolutely gorgeous. Just stopped to take a picture by Lake Matthews and apparently we missed the checkpoint again. I guess we are not good at this game. Do you see anything? Absolutely slammed Huracan. Wow that 458 sounded awesome. I just figured out how to do a rolling burnout in the car. If you put it in track mode for the handling and powertrain, turn traction control all the way off, and then you can't give it any brake whatsoever. You just smack the gas down all the way. It revs up like it's gonna do a launch control, drops the clutches, and then boom, it does a burnout. So hopefully, that means we can get some good strip times. Bunch of cars headed this way. I'm not quite sure why. is going in different directions. Nobody really knows what's going on. I don't know where he's coming from. Pulled over at the next checkpoint with some friends. We got my boy Ani there in the Performante, another friend in the dope, new Vantage. The good news is it turns out I was completely confused with the cards, but we actually get the cards at the yacht party at the end of this as long as we take all the pictures, so we are still in the running. On Ortega Highway now, if this didn't have any traffic, this would be an unbelievable driving road.
my friend Ani just got pulled over for not having any license plates, and it turns out he actually had a rear plate at the start of this rally, and check out this Snapchat video, it completely fell off his car. Look at that, it's just hanging down, and then it fell off. My friends are sending Ani the video to show to the cop as proof. I'm curious how this is gonna turn out. The moment of truth. Oh, they got a ticket. What? No plate? Did you show him the video of the plate falling off? I did not, but actually he gave me a ticket for using the transponder lane about a transponder. Wait, what? Yeah. Solar beam yellow G-Wagon in front of us. I like that color. Cops are out and about today. Just pulled up to Ani. He said he's absolutely dying because of the sport bucket seats in the Pervermonte. I'm like doing totally fine. What do you think of the seats? These are really comfortable. It's, it's like actually shocking. We're here at our fourth destination, LNC Collision. We gotta take a picture in front of this sign. All right, checkpoint four complete. Off to our last destination now, Aston Martin Newport Beach. Apparently they got a couple of cool cars for us there and then we are headed out on the yacht. Just pulled up to Aston Martin Newport Beach. I'm actually across the way at Javier's, one of my favorite restaurants. And Dan M.I. has two of his cars in his collection out. This beautiful full carbon fiber exposed Senna and his matching spec Centenario. Look at that. All right, guys, what would you take? Centenario or Senna? Comment in the comment section below. Purely based on just hearing that exhaust note, I'm gonna have to go with the Centenario. There's no way that is stock. That sounded ridiculous. The DBS Super Legera is so sick looking. The spec on this is badass. I love the yellow accents. Check this car out, guys. I have never seen one of these before in person. It is a Vanquish Zagato shooting brake. One of the coolest Aston Martins ever made. Based on the Vanquish, it's got almost a hatchback-like styling. Check out how awesome those rear taillights are. And then we've got a Vanquish Zagato non-shooting brake next to it. Love the front end on the Zagatos. Look at the sticker price on this thing, $919,000. So you can store all of your golf clubs on a carbon fiber base. Look how cool that is. Look, the entire hatch is carbon, the entire roof, there's carbon everywhere. And the reason I haven't seen one of these before is I've just been told there's 99 total, but only 11 of them are in the United States. Oh, what's up, vlog bros? <laughs> the size of this truck compared to the supercars oh my god all right the last checkpoint take a picture of your car in front of aston martin newport beach how's the rally going dude what i guess that's pretty good <laughs> i'll ask james how's your rally going you're not gonna dance too no no that's not, that's not dancing <laughs> all right honest honest opinions twin turbo versus supercharger both great platforms yeah um i would say Man, I mean, you want more power? Yeah, want, yeah. It's, it's smoother. Really? Uh, yeah. yeah and it sounds ride. ridiculous. I'm, dude, I'm down to go for a ride. I don't have anyone to drive my car, though. Um, just no, I'll drive it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to drive it? No, no, actually. Why don't, why don't <laughs> I you just jump in here, and I'll take you just down. All right, I'm down. Let's do it. So we are in Damon's Huracan, about to experience what a twin turbocharged, 850 wheel horsepower, rear wheel drive Huracan mm. feels like. Do you think you could hold two cameras? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to hit myself in the face. Holy crap. Yeah, that's way faster. <laughs> this is 
like a third gear pull from 5,000 RPM. All right. <laughs> Holy <laughs> Fifteen hundred miles in the 600 LT. Back at home now. Unfortunately, we did have to head out early. It was a long two-hour drive back home. I just realized I've been in this car from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Twelve hours in the 600 LT, and honestly, this thing is really, really comfortable. I had an absolute blast. Special shout out to Logan, 70 Mile Saturday, for putting on an epic event. It was fun hanging out with friends. There were some epic cars, and it was nice rekindling some old friendships. Seriously, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next video.